I'm trying to keep the mic over here because sometimes it just captures my breathing. Yo, what is going on my husbandos and waifus? My name is Hermzar and welcome to another live reaction review of Black Clover. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys go and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. Subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys. I know it's coming. And I know people sometimes watch my reaction thinking that this is a streaming service. It's not. I'm expecting you guys to have already watched the episode and just watching my episode or watching my live reaction just as like a review kind of or just like a refresher. I know. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Man, I'm so fucking nervous right now. I'm so scared it's happening! Yo, yo, whoa, 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 whoa! This was the same complaint that I had in the manga. Why does the king have two waifus? Also, there was a spoiler in the chat, in, uh, in, in the comment section in the last one. I'm not gonna say it, guys, but please, please, for God fucking sakes, manga readers, Manga readers, I'm one of them too, okay? The manga readers, y'all are horrible. Let the anime watchers enjoy what they're watching. Y'all have to fucking spoil everything. Control yourself. Don't be a dick. Control yourself. Oh my god, I was so mad reading the comment section. I was like, oh my god. Yo, at this point though, it really does look like Julius is fucking up Leet. Yeah, because once the moment that Leet gets caught up in one of those time balls. Yeah, he's low-key freaking out, even though he's supposed to stay calm. They really did a good job with the art style and animation of this. Here we go. Yami's like, I said something fishy. You tell him, Leopold! Yes, I love the- I love it. Leopold, let's go! Julius ain't even sweating the shit. He's just like, come on, give it up, give it everything you got! You're getting a little bit dull! Holy shit! Holy fuck, this animation! Oh my god, they really went all out with this one. It's like a fucking whip. Holy shit, Julius. Oh my god, Julius, you crazy motherfucker. They're all they're they're pretty much on par if you think about it. They're they're like even though he's not landing hit, Julius isn't he's he's landing his hits, but I think more so he's getting Leet kind of like kind of tripped up a little bit. He's getting a uh, homeboy a little bit like confused like god damn it he's getting him frustrated because he's been trying to hit julius but julius like fuck that shit you ain't hit nothing my boy you see how calm julius is his eyes are just calm and whereas his eyes elite's eyes are kind of just like tripping he's upset <laughs> you're pretty fast i feel like honestly even as a manga reader right and i'm not gonna like i said i'm not spoiling but there there has to be more to julius that we don't know about there has to be so much more to question. Holy shit. That's his grimoire? I remember that, but I didn't know it was that big. I thought it was just a small thing. A coverless grimoire. Fucking fitting as a wizard king, my dude. Fucking fitting. Wait, how far? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not ready. At first I was like, at first I was like, I'm ready for this, man. I go, I go get my feelings. I'm not ready. I'm not fucking ready. Oh no. This whole episode is this? Fuck, man. This episode is just a fucking good mixture of dialogue and fight. So his thing is like, instead of being able to kill Julius, he's just gonna kill everyone else. So Julius has no one else to protect. The light, which is you know and Asta. Hurry, Yami, hurry! Jesus fucking Christ. He's legit attacking the whole Clover Kingdom. Ooh, oh my God, it's coming, it's coming. Look, Julius doesn't like that. Julius wants equality. That's how fucked up some people were. And and on, and honestly, uh, in the in this scene right here, we're seeing that Julius is getting a sense that he wants them dead. Like he doesn't know why they're alive if they're using their magic for such evil, evil shit. God damn, dude! This just shows how good of a guy that uh, Julius is. Yeah, we're getting story on Zara now. Well, we 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 know. See, the thing is, we know who Zara is, but the fact that Zara is the one that inspired Julius to be what he is. He cleverly used his trap spells, kind of like Zora. We're blinded by personal achievements and glory. He prioritized helping the people above everything else. Can, you know what? You know what's hurting me? This this part is hurting me so much. Considering that Zara, Zara, suppose the person that got betrayed, the person who was looked at as like the one of the weakest magic knights of his time, is the person that pushed Julius forward into what he has become today. Zara. Zora's father. Oh, the, how everything is connecting right now. It's hurting my little chin chin heart, dude. And you know, and if anything, I feel like Zara's probably the best person that could have been the Wizard King. 
IMO. In terms of his personality. Fuck, dude. Oh, man. My feeling. He's so mad, his hands are bleeding. And it's so crazy to see the emotions of Julius. Because Julius is always positive. He's always looking forward. Here we see a, a confused Julius, an upset Julius, a sad Julius. We're seeing some. And we're seeing the split! This is what I'm talking about every fucking review, whenever I'm like, the split of the nobles and the commoners. Dude, this episode is just summoning up my whole emotion about the series. And it's hurting. Magic and humans should be freer. This is fucking. This is such. This episode of Julius? Holy shit! That's the power of Julius. Come on, Yami! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm fucking, I'm tearing up right now. This happened! <laughs> no! Oh, fuck. I can't, dude, I can't review it! It hurts! Woo! I can't, dude, I can't review it like this! Oh, fuck, dude. Hold on, the M flow ending. Why isn't this on Spotify? M flow, why isn't this on Spotify? I can't, man. So like um I I did I, I I didn't think that this episode was going to like hit me because I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. And when I was recording I was like, man, I just hope that I'm able to like I'm, I hope that I'm able to convey an emotion because right now I I, I feel dead inside, right? But then when everything started sh like happening, I was just like, no, man, no this can't be happening not to our boy Julius. So much emotion and I just this episode being <clears throat> portrayed in the voice of Julius, or narrated by Julius, was done perfectly. The animation was done perfectly, the fight scene was perfect, the mixture of uh, dialogue, fight scene, uh, flashback was all done 100% well. I don't have to go too much into Zara, Julius. I talked about it during the live reaction. Just how Julius was influenced not only by how Zara's actions were, but by his death that led him into becoming a wizard king and a proper wizard king at that is probably what, like, it hurts, man. Because now not only um did they lose Zara, but possibly losing Julius because Julius just legit got defeated by saving everyone like a true honestly that is a true wizard king being defeated by protecting the people of your kingdom whether if you hate them or not he wanted to change the world that's what julius was he was someone that was trying to move the world forward and trying to break that rule that that mold of nobles and royalty is better than commoners because he agrees magic is free and endless everyone has potential Aston, and you know our testament to that the black bulls they're rejects and i like how when we're looking back we just see how the black bulls it was a lot of the black bulls and of course crimson lion because even the crimson lion the, the reason why i felt like fuego leon if anything is the next one up is because he was someone that didn't judge asta based off of him being a commoner he's like oh so you're trying to be the next magic king i guess that makes you my rival as well and he was kind of guiding asta as a senpai as someone who is a magic knight captain not even on the same team He's like, let me give you some advice. And that's even what, what Julius was. Julius was the person in the middle trying to help everyone. Imagine if Finral was alive and Yami would just teleport immediately over there to help him. Oh man, this episode was so heavy, man. It hurts. It hurts. Did it hurt you guys? Even manga readers? I'm sure it hurt you guys. I'm sure it hurt you guys to see it animated. But please, once again, guys, don't fucking kill it in the chat. Uh, uh don't kill it in the, yeah, in the chat and in the comment section. And also, like, just so you guys know, this arc is so fucking long. It just finished in the manga. It just finished. It's so fucking long. This is, this is one fucking ride that we're going to have to take, guys. It's, it's gonna be fucking long. And it's, uh, and it sucks that we're gonna be, like, not even halfway of the point of this arc once this anime is done uh for the season but jesus christ man. anyways guys if you enjoyed make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot subscribe don't forget to click that notification bell my boys <sighs>